So we are going to talk about the hollow hold position and how it relates to a kipping pull-up. The reason why this position is really um, important to nail down and to have really good endurance with this position is because you, the hollow hold position is the position you're maintaining in a kipping pull-up. When you're coming behind that bar, you're in a hollow hold, moving into that arching position um, and then into your pull-up. So your body should be straight um, in that hollow hold position in that kipping pull-up. So we're gonna start from the beginning and kind of go through um, breaking it down into a simpler, easier movement, building up to that hollow hold, making sure that you have the right strength and endurance throughout all of those positions to make sure that you have a good, solid hollow hold that you can transfer over to your pull-up. So the first one, we're gonna be doing just a hollow tuck. So this is the first position that we wanna make sure we have good strength. So we're laying down, we're going to tuck our knees in at about 90 degrees and then we're gonna lift up, reaching out to the side. My eyes go in between my knees, kind of looking towards my feet. We don't wanna look up to the ceiling because we wanna maintain our core here. Your goal, you're really pulling those ribs towards your belly button, okay? And that back is in a slightly flexed position. Our spine is in a slightly flexed position in our hollow tuck and also in our hollow hold. So my shoulders come off, I'm here. I wanna be able to maintain this position for 20 seconds, okay? Making sure that my pelvis does not rotate into that arch position. I still, I maintain that tuck here. My ribs come down and I can hold this for 20 seconds, making sure you can hold that before you move on to the next one. Okay, our next position, we're gonna do a hollow um, tuck with one leg out. So I'm pulling my ribs down towards my belly button, making sure I have that flexed spine that's flat on the ground. Hands are reaching towards those feet and I'm gonna kick one leg out here. Okay, so I have one leg tucked, one leg straight, pointing those toes, holding here and making sure you can hold this position for another 20 seconds, okay? Once you have this down and you feel like you can maintain that core here, maintain that spine flexion, then moving on to the next more advanced position. Okay, so the next position, our hands are still gonna be down pointed towards our feet, but we're gonna extend the other leg out. So I still have that tucked position, my ribs are towards my belly button, my spine is flexed, and I'm gonna bring my other leg straight out. So here's my hollow hold with my arms down, pointing towards my feet, making sure you can maintain this without losing that spine flexion for another 20 seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna do the fullest expression of the hollow hold with our arms overhead. This is the last one that you wanna nail down and make sure you can maintain it before you transfer this over to your kipping pull-up. So I'm just gonna start from that tuck again. One leg out, other leg out. Now my arms are gonna go overhead. Okay, so I wanna make sure I can maintain this position, keeping that spine flexed, my rib cage towards my belly button, arms overhead, chin slightly tucked, feet are pointed, my whole body is nice and tight forming that like banana shape in that hollow hold. Okay, so we worked through all of the positions leading up to that hollow hold with arms overhead in static positions, meaning we're just maintaining that one position for that 20 seconds. Now I wanna talk about how we can take that a step further in each of those positions and add a dynamic component. So we're gonna go through a rocking series for each of those positions. So I'll go through one at a time, starting from that hollow tuck. So once you have that 20 second static hold in each position, try adding that, this rocking position, or this rocking exercise to make it moving, make it more dynamic, so it transfers well over to your dynamic kipping pull-up movement. So starting in that hollow tuck, knees are in, shoulders are lifted. From this position, I add a rock. And the key here is that everything moves together. So my hips don't move more than my core here. My ribs stay towards my belly button and I rock and everything stays tight and in that position. Okay, so taking this out to the one leg with that tuck, again, everything moves together. I don't let this leg come high and hinge up like this. Okay, it stays straight out, everything moves together. Moving into the next one, both legs out, rocking, maintaining that position, making sure those legs don't kick up here to build momentum, okay? We're just rocking all together and then taking it to that last position, that full hollow hold with arms overhead into a rock. So 
So here, arms overhead, my rib cage comes down, trying to add that rocking back and forth, not letting those legs come high, maintaining that hollow hold position. 